And so what is the funniest thing that has ever happened to you when you've been sourcing for Amazon? Well, I, I really had to think about this um, because um, mostly <laughs> things aren't funny. They're frustrating to me, you know. Um, <laughs> and uh, But here's one that I, I remember vividly. And it happened when I was a, um, a new seller. I can't remember now if it was the first or second year I was selling during Christmas. I think it was my very first year. And we went into a Walmart, my husband and I, and we went in through the garden shop. And in the garden shop area, that's where they, this particular Walmart kept all of their clearance aisles. And we walked in and I looked at, and, and, and it wasn't like there was a big crowds or anything like that around. I just look, happened to look up at one of the end caps and it said 50% off of all clearance prices. And the majority of the things that were on these clearance aisles were toys. And I turned around and just looked at my husband and I said, we're going to need another cart. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, four carts. Well, actually, we needed four or five carts, I think. And we went back more than one. We filled the car, had to go back. Um, I was cl And so I'm going through, and of course I'm scanning because I don't know toys that well, right? Right. But, I know toys a lot better now that I could pass up some things that are like, that's not ever going to sell no matter what price it is. Yes, there are toys that go on deep discount prices, and there's a reason. is because it will never sell. And even if it's, it's for sale on Amazon, you're going to buy it and send it in, and it's going to sit there because customers don't want it. Yeah. But for the most part, Amazon does clearance. You know, I mean, there was Lego sets, and there was you know all this stuff. There's stuff that was on clearance, and and Amazon, and Amazon, Walmart, does often not clearance very deep. But when it's 50% off of their clearance price, you can be assured that it was a pretty good discount. So we were clearing out the off shelves. Now there were people that were kind of in the garden shop but not anybody in the clearance section I was like really you know thinking this should be mobbed right so there wasn't anybody in the clearance section except for these two gals that worked for Walmart who were um, straightening shelves and and they were they finally they were laughing at us right they're giggling because we were buying so much and I finally turned around and I said why are you giggling and she says because we don't have to straighten that again <laughs> and they said, and then they went go. Then they finally got to the point where they went and got carts and helped us clear the shelves off. They were so happy because this was the department that they worked in, and it was a constant. We have to straighten this stuff and make sure the prices are on stuff. And they were just so happy to see the stuff go going and gone. And we finally got to the point where they were all laughing. Okay, so I'm getting to the really funny part because this was funny to me. I mean, this was fun. And exciting, like Eleanor says, when you go into a store and you find something that's just amazing, you get this whole giddy feeling. <laughs> well, here's what happens to me. All of a sudden, they announce this sale over the loudspeaker. <laughs> they say, please head over to the garden shop where we have aisles of clearance, and it's all 50% off the marked price going on right now, you know, whatever. And I turn around and I look at my husband and I said, you need to go find that person, whoever that is, and tell them to just shut up. <laughs> I'm not done. When I'm done, they can announce it. But they need to go and tell them to shut up. So, and the difference between a new seller, here's the next thing. The difference between a new seller, which is what I was, and an experienced seller, which Stephen was, Stephen, 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 Stephen yeah, yeah. that one that you interviewed, right? And I've interviewed him, and I know he would say this. A new seller would make that comment to their husband, and then just keep moving on, trying to fill their baskets. An experienced seller would actually take that comment seriously, and say, "You need to go find the manager and tell, ask them to come and help you, and to not make announcements until you're done." <laughs> and and likely it would work. Because 
they didn't know I was in that department clearing, clearing off shelves. Now they know and they would be, I would be actually meeting the manager who's seeing me clearing off shelves and spending you know, a several thousand dollars or whatever and knowing that this is a relationship that we want to develop because this person might come back and do it again. You know? so, um, and not only that, that I, give you even more of a discount because that's what happened right. to me one day when I was in Walmart. There was like ten things on the on the on the shelf, and I wanted it. And he was standing right there, and I asked him. I said, "If I take all ten of them, will you give me a lower price?" He marked a twenty dollar item down. I think it was like to ten bucks. See how cool that is. And where did we learn that from? By listening to Stephen. Yeah, it was Stephen. Because he Mother does that all that. the time. Yes. <laughs> yes, him and Scooter Lofton do that stuff and all Scooter, the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes, definitely. That is a funny story. That is so cute. Okay, so what was your most embarrassing purchase that you made?